Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So today's video is going to be one of our favorite videos. We all love these videos, lip swatch video. And I'm going to talk about an affordable lip product which I have recently discovered. So if you guys are interested, then please continue watching. Alright guys, let's quickly get started with today's video. So today I'm going to talk about these newer lipsticks in my collection. These are not new, but these are new to me. So these are the Palladio Velvet Matte Lip Color. Now I think I have spoken about two of them in the past, like say three, four months back. And I have been using them quite a lot and I really, really like the formula. So I have purchased quite a few. I think I have eight shades now. And so I thought, let me share my thoughts and do like a whole review video on these lipsticks. So these are the Palladio Velvet Matte Lip Colors and these are your standard liquid lipsticks. Uh, if you guys don't know about Palladio, Palladio is a US based brand and they are supposed to be a natural beauty kind of brand. I have the Palladio Beauty website in front of me. So they are, uh, they make cruelty free products. Their products are paraben free and they infuse their products with a lot of antioxidant vitamins C, D and E and they have a lot of botanical antioxidant uh, properties in their products. So all of these products which they have, they have a lot of good ingredients in them. They're like sort of like green beauty, natural beauty kind of uh, products. And they are really, really affordable in Singapore. They are found at the drugstore and they have a lot of products. They have foundations, concealers, eye products, uh, base makeup products, a lot of things. And I actually have a, a, I think a review video on Palladio. So I will link that also in the description box. So if you're interested in this uh brand then you can go ahead and check that video so that was about the brand now let's focus on these lipsticks which i have in front of me so these are the palladio velvet matte lip colors now these are uh, called velvet matte or they have a satin matte sort of a formula i'm wearing one of them they are not completely matte uh, they do transfer but they are incredibly comfortable to wear but the unique usp of this lipstick is i have my phone in front of me i'll just read it out they have a lot of natural ingredients. So these lipsticks have aloe vera, ginseng, uh, ginkgo biloba and chamomile. So they claim to have natural ingredients, which is always a good thing. Now these lipsticks are really, really affordable. They are available at the drugstore for around seven to eight dollars. But I have bought all of them on sale and I have hardly paid five dollars for each and every one of them. They retail for four ninety from where I have got them. So they're like superbly affordable. I think these are the least expensive lipsticks which I have. Uh, now, how about my experience? I have had very good experience with these lipsticks. I will recommend this lipstick to you if you do not mind transfer. These lipsticks do transfer. They are like regular lipsticks, but in liquefied form. But unlike uh, normal lipsticks, they do dry down a little bit. They settle down on the lips, but they do not dry down completely and they do transfer. So they are not very long wearing and they easily wear off if you're eating or drinking, but they're very easy to uh, reapply because they do not dry down or anything. They are superbly pigmented. I have pigmented lips, but still even the lighter shade is able to cover up my lips really, really well. And there is no patchiness or anything. They just go very smoothly on the lips. They do not dry down. So there is no flakiness, no cracking, nothing like that. I think these look really great on the lips and they make your lips look much more healthier. So I have been totally enjoying uh, using these lipsticks and I will highly recommend them. I will recommend them only if you are, uh, if you don't really care about transfer. Just remember that these are not long wearing and they will easily fade away if you eat or drink, but they are highly, highly comfortable and super affordable. So I will recommend them. And uh, now let's go into the swatches. I have eight shades and I will swatch all of the lipsticks on my arms and also on my lips. So let's get started. The first lipstick which I have is called Raw Silk and it's more of a pinky nude shade. At first I thought this will be too light so I did not purchase it but when I got it I was pleasantly surprised that it really suits my skin tone as well. It's a very very pretty nudey pink. Next we have the shade Bokal and I have spoken about this previously on my channel and this is a really flattering mauve pinky nude on my skin tone. This is a little bit deeper than Raw Silk and it just looks amazing. It's one of my go-to shades. Next we have the shade Suede and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I am in love with this shade. It's a very very interesting shade. It's a somewhat of a brown and a red mix. 
but on the lips it just looks it doesn't look red it doesn't look brown it just looks something amazing so i just love this shade it has a little bit of hint of pink as well so i think it's a really really pretty shade for my skin tone next we have the shade blush this is a very very bright pink it's almost like a fuchsia pink so it's a really really bright almost like a barbie bright barbie pink and it it's quite bright on my skin tone as well i used to love wearing these kind of shades nowadays i don't wear them very often but this shade is so bright and pretty i feel like wearing it more often next i have the shade brocade this also i have spoken about in my previous videos this is a very nice like a berry pink like a strawberry pink shade and this also looks so so nice on the lips this is one of my favorite shades and it looks super flattering on my kind of skin tone next we move on to some reds so i have got this shade angora and this is a very very interesting red shade it looks super nice it has a orange tinge to it so it's like a orangey red but it looks so so pretty on the skin tone I don't know how much I will wear this red because I usually don't wear reds which transfer but yeah the color is so pretty I might just wear it. Next we have the shade Pane I think that's how you say it. This is also a red but this is this has less of a orange more of a red it has it is more red it's a more to a red. So I love this shade as well. This also looks really really pretty on the lips. And last but not the least we have this deep shade it's called tape pastry and it's a blackened like a cherry color it's a deep brownish cherry black color and it just looks so so stunning on the lips this particular lipstick tape pastry it has a tendency to look a little bit patchy if not applied properly so just make sure when you're applying you layer the lipstick properly and you have applied it everywhere uh, then it will not look patchy and you can see in my lip swatch also that it's looking patchy at uh, one place but it's a beautiful color and if you're careful if you spread out your lipstick properly it's not going to look patchy i did fix uh, this lipstick after i was done swatching so it was looking great but i just wanted to point out that this particular shade can look patchy so those are all the lip shades i have they are so so pretty i did not think i will love these lipsticks so much as much as i do they are super pigmented i think that was one of the highlights for me that these are so pigmented and such an affordable price uh there are four more shades which i haven't purchased they were a little bit on the lighter corally side and i don't really wear those shades and there was one purple which i haven't purchased because i didn't think i will wear that shade other than that i have really loved all of these shades and i will wear all of them uh just a little bit of more information about the packaging so this is how the packaging looks like it's a standard like an acrylic tube and you have the name of the lipstick on top uh the lipstick it says it's botanical and vitamin infused as i already mentioned and it doesn't say how much product is in here yeah it says a 4.16 gram of product so i feel like it's a little bit more than your regular lipsticks uh, i'm not really sure and it's made in uh china and it's a 12 month of expiry so yeah and i think this lipsticks you have to throw them out in one year because these have natural ingredients so i think the shelf life will not be more these will definitely go bad uh com um, earlier as compared to other liquid lipsticks so yeah i think i will recommend these lipsticks to you if you are someone who doesn't like matte lipsticks or you don't like liquid lipsticks because they are drying and you want to try liquid lipsticks then i think these are something you you may like because they are not drying they are very comfortable they are pigmented i just love this formula and really really affordable so yeah i think that's it for today's video that's all i wanted to share about these palladio uh, velvet matte lip creams i really hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful if you liked it as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for first time then i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and when you're subscribing please don't forget to ring that notification bell it's very very important and yeah thank you so much for watching i will see you guys really really soon in my next video bye